we are going to attempt to try and simplify laparoscopic suturing and the intention is to hold the needle in the right hand with the needle holder on side A. Take the needle and take it vertically down and initiate the stitch. Come out on side B. Keep it with the curve of the needle so that you get the benefit of easy sliding of the stitch. Support the, the thread with the instrument on side B and gently pull the long end to a level that the short end on side A is approximately 2 centimeters in length. In keeping it at 2 centimeters in length, one will see that suturing becomes significantly easy. Now to prepare the knot tying, one takes the long end of the stitch to side A and hold the, the needle at its tip. Take it to side A and hold the needle at its tip. It is preferable to hold the needle in a vertical direction towards the ceiling so that one does no harm to the intestine or any other vital organ that might be lying there. Create a nice C. This is the C. Take this needle tip nearest to the short end. Put your non-dominant hand and now take stitch number one and pull it away from the tip of the instrument. Stitch number two, take it away from the instrument and now the short end is ready to be clamped. Gently release the knot. Leave the needle and release the knot towards side A. Pull side B A but never side B, the short end must be kept stable. Knot number one is taken. In preparing knot number two, take the long end towards side B. And it is important that when planning a knot on side B, the needle is held with the instrument on side B nearest to the short end. Use your right hand, knot number one, pull it higher, knot number two, pull it higher so that the knot doesn't slip. Now release the thread gently, which is the longer one on side B. And side B gets pulled, side A remains short. Knot number two is complete. In planning knot number three, take this needle on the side of side A, hold the tip. Holding the needle tip is extremely important in the exercise. Hold the needle tip and prepare knot number three. One, take it far away. Two, take it far away and grab the shorter end. Come on. and gently release the knot on the longer side pulling the short side
This exercise must be done repeatedly so as to get the feel of the suturing in the direction in which it has to be practiced. This is extremely important. End of lesson number one.